Hello, um, welcome to this new episode. My name is Daniela Barrera and today's lesson I'm going to share with you the prepositions. Prepositions are words used as linking words. Actually, the word preposition tells you that these words and short words are going to be before, pre, okay? So, prepositions are basically these linking words to express a uh, location sometimes or when uh, something happened. So, prepositions in Spanish are a little bit complex, but you have to remember that practice makes perfect. So, you just have to remember how this, uh, how each preposition works. And so, you uh, basically today I just want to share five different and most common prepositions because I've been teaching Spanish for two years, I guess, around two years. And this has been like popping into the conversation even in advanced uh, levels in Spanish because I do like to to bring conversation to class, not just focusing on grammar, but I know that grammar is very important as well. So it, Spanish is a very complex language, so you have to like uh, set your goal, like set your mind that learning Spanish is going to be complex. Actually, any language is complex. So to understand a language, you have to start um, thinking on how the language works, how the culture works. So it's basically to immerse like yourself in this different world. So in order to get to understand uh, another language, you have to understand like the people. So basically these five prepositions are the most common. So number one is hasta, number two is según, number three is sin, number four antes, and number five después. I choose this preposition because the first one is when you want to express a limit. So this is going to be very useful for you. And then if you want to emphasize something or if you want to say according to uh, just this is very common when you are in a conversation. So uh, that's why I chose that this one was very, very important. And also, <clears throat> sorry. Also, antes y después, because it's going to be very important for you when you express um, some stories. So, uh, what happened before, what happened after. So, it's very important for you to express um, this. So, let's start. So, number one is hasta. Hasta is the preposition that you use when you want to express a limit. So, basically, you use this. Um, to set um, a limit. So you, an example would be, yo, um, yo trabajo hasta las cinco. I work until five. So basically you're uh, telling until when this is working. So you have to be very careful using um, hasta because it could be used um, either way, like setting a limit for example, if you want to say, I'm free until five, like you have to pay attention and you have to clarify whether you are free before five or after five. So it's just like telling you the limit until you're free. But basically in Spanish, we have to specify if, when you want to express this. Like if I would like to say that I am free for two hours, I have to say literally that, that I'm free two hours until this next uh, hour, okay? So in using hasta is very, very important that you specify um, 
if you're free or not or when you have class or when you have work or when you have this uh, activity okay so hasta it's a very important preposition but pay attention to this because you have to be clear of uh, saying your message okay so uh, number two is según is according to so we use this a lot because in our culture sometimes we we just uh it's very common sometimes uh gossiping or just speculating or things like that so it's we want to prove that we we got like this uh, information from something no according to this or if you want to um like clarify or you want to to express that it's not your just your just your idea it's like okay this is based in this research or something like that according to it's expressed según okay sometimes it's used as something similar to i think según según yo like it's like i think or according to what i think or what i've seen i believe in this okay so it's how we use según okay the other one is Seen. This is going to be very useful in Mexico because we use a lot of spicy food. So maybe um, using the preposition without seen is going to be very useful for you. Would you like some tacos? Ah, claro, sí. Sin chile, por favor. <laughs> yes. So basically, seen is just without. The opposite is con, with. Okay? So let's move on to the fourth one. Antes, before. This one is very important because you're going to tell stories and you want to be clear about what happened before and what happened uh, next. So, antes is before, okay? And the last one is después, after, okay? So, those last two are very important. Um, for um, uh, telling a story. Uh, you have to remember that when you tell a story, you have to use the tense called imperfect, imperfecto. I know that in English, you don't have that. You just use the simple past to express uh, something that used to be, some things that used to happen. So, Basically, Spanish is a little bit complex, but it's nothing that you can't uh, learn. Everybody have learned if they really want to, if they really invest their time. So you have to just keep practicing uh, and that's pretty much it. Let's review one more time the prepositions for today. Hasta, until, según, according to, sin, without, antes, before, and después, after, okay? So that's pretty much it for um, this kind of short lesson. Um, if you really liked this, we would like to uh, know your comments, um, your feedback, and well, I hope this you find this very useful, and I will see you then next time, all right? If you really liked this video, please um, leave your comments um, or tell us in whatever you want, okay? Then see you next time.